Moving on to the second question. ABCD is a rhombus and PQRS are the midpoints of the sides AB, BC, CD and DA respectively. Show that quadrilateral PQRS is a rectangle. Now moving on to the solution. Given that ABCD is a rhombus in which PQR is or midpoints of sides AB, BC, CD and DA respectively. Let us draw a figure regarding it. We need to prove that PQRS is a rectangle. In order to prove this, let us follow a procedure. In the first step, let us join BD and AC. Now let us consider the triangles triangle PAS and triangle QCR. In these both triangles, angle A is equal to angle C since opposite angles in a rhombus are equal and also AS will be equal to QC. Since we know that in rhombus all the sides will be equal, S divides AD in its midpoint and Q also divides BC in its midpoint. So AS is equal to QC and similarly AP is equal to RC. Now here in both the triangles two corresponding sides and an included angle in between them is equal. So by SAS property we can say that triangle PAS is congruent to triangle QCR when two triangles are congruent we can say the corresponding sides and corresponding angles can be equated so here let us equate PS is equal to QR similarly let us consider the triangle PBQ and triangle SDR. In these two triangles, angle B is equal to angle D. Since ABCD is a rhombus, opposite angles in a rhombus will be equal. Here, SD is equal to BP. Since S is midpoint of AD and P is midpoint of AB, we know that AD is equal to AB. And similarly, we get DR is equal to BQ. Now again by SAS property the two triangles are similar. So triangle PBQ is similar to here by SAS property the two triangles are congruent that is triangle PBQ is congruent to triangle SDR. As two triangles are congruent then their corresponding sides and corresponding angles can be equated. So here SR can be equated to PQ. In the first step we got that PS is equal to QR and here we got that SR is equal to PQ. Two pairs of opposite sides are equal. So here we can say that PQRS is a parallelogram. As 
PS is parallel to RQ in triangle ADB. Now, if we consider in triangle ADB, S is midpoint of AD and P is midpoint of AB. Thereby, midpoint theorem we can say that PS is parallel to BD. Let us assume that the points where AC and BD intersecting PS, RQ, SR and PQ as E, F, G and H. Now we consider that PS is parallel to RQ and we got PS is parallel to BD. If we observe clearly H S G O also forms a parallelogram. As PS is parallel to BD we can say yes H is equal to GO and SH is also equal to GO and HS is also parallel to GO. So we can say HS GO forms a parallelogram. As H GO forms a parallelogram, we can say in parallelogram opposite angles are equal. Therefore, angle HOG is equal to angle HSG which is equal to 90 degrees as angle HOG will be equal to 90 degrees since in rhombus diagonals bisect perpendicularly. So we can say here we got angle S is equal to 90 degrees. Now we know that PQRS is a parallelogram and in which one of the angle is 90 degrees then we can say that PQRS is a rectangle.